Hey everyone, so as a lot of you know, some styles are a lot easier to build than others and welcome to Bloxburg. And in my opinion, I feel like the McMansions are the easiest ones to build. So today I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how I start to build like a bigger family home and how I do it easily when I don't want to spend too much time building and working and grinding. So today I'm going to be making a quick big house. Yes. Now anyways, what I first start out with is of course the location on my plot. So I do want it kind of to be in the middle and not too close to the front of the plot so that I still have room for like a garden in the front or fence or whatever I want to create. And what I start with is just a block of four. I go back one bit and I go back one bit here as well. And then I do another block of like four or three. Let's do three this time. Or maybe let's go for four as well. And then I pan it out just a little bit more and I go for like four blocks. Let, let's do another four blocks. This is a muck mansion, so why not do that? Okay, now as you can see, this looks a little bit weird, so I will go for three blocks anyways. And I just like create a little step like that to make it look easier on the eye. And of course, this will be where my front door is. So I'm going to go ahead and start and put the front door in there. And I love the traditional doors for houses like these. And then you just start to plan out your rooms like that. So what I want in the front is like a little area where I can go upstairs, of course. Leave some room so that you have room to go to the other parts of the house. So this, for example, will be the hallway. We'll do the same thing on the second floor. But maybe the hallway is a little too big for me. So what I like to do is I add my stairs to the side or one of the sides, but I do want to leave some room to go into the other rooms. So this is what I'm going to do. And then the guest toilet is gonna go maybe behind the stairs or something like that. So then this is where the guest toilet is going to be. And then of course I need to add my stairs. I'm gonna make it one bit longer just to make sure that I have space enough for the stairs. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna go for the carpeted stairs. And there we go. And maybe I'll move it back just a little bit like one block, so that when we go upstairs, we actually have some space left to move around, have some wiggle room. And the hallway, I'm gonna make it go all the way to where I put the first stepping stone or the first stair kind of thingy. So this is going to be the hallway. I am gonna add a little fence here. And so as you can see, we have a lot of room left for bedrooms and stuff like that. So now I will just create the rooms that I wanted in the house. And then same thing on the other side and just connecting the dots like that. But as you can see in the back, it looks kind of flat now. So we are going to extend it just a little bit and what I will do is I will add a little extra space here on the side where the garage is going to be so one two I want a four door garage or a double garage maybe so what I will do is I will just add that to the side so that's one garage and then eight blocks so eight times eight will be 64 and that will be our garage it's not going to be the biggest garage in the world but it will do and then same thing again, we are going to continue and make this bump out a little bit in the back. I think I went, went one block too far. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Going back one bit, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. And then same thing here, but here I'm going to extend it just a little bit. Maybe we can put a kitchen inside this. And as you can see, this is quite the mansion already. And then this part is going to be a little deck area. Now going out of build mode to make sure my walls connect. What you could also do with the garage, if you don't want it connected to your house, you can remove this part and make it one bit longer on the other side. But that's not what I'm going to do right now. And so as you can see, that leaves us with quite the big hallway, which leaves some more space to to build more rooms inside it as well, but we're gonna continue our McMansion. So we need to think of the style that we're going to use. So with the style that I'm using, I'm more going for like a classical build. So I'm just gonna be adding in like this fence. We can add pillars in later so that it looks a little bit more realistic. So I'm actually gonna do that right now in the back because we do want to create a little terraced area here. And then same here as well. And maybe one in the middle. Although I kind of do want a window or a big window that goes into the backyard. We can see what we do here. Now the roof, you cannot build under roofs. So that is quite sad. This side part over here is gonna get a slanted roof. You don't have to do the side part, but I feel like it looks a lot better with like as many side parts as possible. Gonna drag it up just a little bit. And this will be the side of the house, like a little nook area. And then for the roof in the front, now the roof in these houses is so important and that's what makes or breaks your house. And I kind of struggle with roofs sometimes, I have to admit that. But first off, we will drag a line all the way across where the main roof 
point is going to be. And of course, this has to be a little bit higher than the rest of the roof. And then for the sides, you can of course use the hip roof or whatever you want. Now with combining roof, oh, this is not the roof that I wanted. Now with combining roofs, I would have said, <laughs> um, it is important that you paint the underside in the same colors because they do interfere with each other. I'm actually gonna go for the gable roof again. So maybe we are going to make them the same height like that. I kind of feel like that looks okay. And then of course, we still need a roof for the garage as well. Gonna go for the same gable roof. Of course, the garage would be an area where you could build a gable roof like where I built in my previous video where you actually make your own uh, roof for it with, with the planks. But I'm not gonna do that for this one because I am trying to show you how easy it is to build a bigger house like this. And then this is going to be the roof on the garage. Now, as you can see, it looks quite weird with no overhang coming out of it. I don't know what happened there. So we're gonna make it a little bit lower like that. And then of course, there's two points that we are going to add just to make it look a little better. So this is gonna be lower than the actual roof. And then same thing here as well. Same height, looks a lot better when you add those on the side. And then of course, you have to think about your windows. I usually pick one window that I'm going to use throughout the build. And for this one, I'm going to be using the traditional double window maybe. Now as you can see this right here looks a little bit sad so in the middle I might be using another type of window where is it the white curved window for example looks better than just like a normal thingy you know so gonna add that and then maybe on the sides I don't know how it will look like but maybe on the sides I will use like a singular window that is to make the house look a little bit bigger than it actually is and then same thing here you just continue and it looks like a symmetrical kind of house and then in the back part as I said I definitely do want to use like French doors or something like that to go into the backyard so that's what I'm adding right here just double French doors how nice is that and then for the garage I'm not quite sure what I want to use I'm not going to use the arch door because as you can see the house has a lot of hard corners like that so I am going to be going for like the traditional carriage door or something like that. I feel like that looks really pretty like that okay but it is only three blocks wide so I might change it to an actual bigger garage door. There we go. Now to finish it off the windows I mean I'm going to be adding blinds to them although this one can be quite weird so I might change that window out anyways. Well, I meant shutters, of course. So the white shutters, see, as you can see, this is quite weird. So for example, these ones, for houses like these, you want to use like subtle colors, for example, a subtle blue color, which is what I'm going to go for. But you can also use greens. Greens don't look bad either. You just want to use like a subtle color that doesn't really fight with anything else. And then for the material on these kind of McMansions, I usually go for a brick, probably because I'm too European. You can, of course, go for a linen type of brick which is really pretty actually. Or you can go for a red brick or a more yellowish brick. Um, I need to find the right yellow, but I think I'm gonna go for hurricane gray or linen. Linen is actually a pretty warm color, but I do want the house to look a little bit more pale. Now these don't really match with that, so I'm gonna go for blue shutters. I feel like that will give some more depth to the house. And then of course you paint the walls that you want to paint. And so as you can see, I didn't paint everything just yet. That's because I might use a different color for the roof and the paneling on the front. So for my roof, I'm going to be using roof tiles. Don't want them too dark. Dark, but don't want them too light either, which is, <laughs> wow, contradictory. Um, the side part of it is going to be these types of planks. We want a color that matches with the linen. Maybe this light stone gray will match, but then the roof has to be a little darker. I always struggle with picking colors and that is like my main issue. And then for the bottom of the roof, I'm just going to be picking institutional white because I do feel like ceilings should be light. And then same here, I'm going to be picking that same light stone gray and going for the horizontal planks. I'm going to do the same with the side building over here and then the same with the garage. So those are like two colors that I'm already combining. I don't want to add too much else to it. And then I'm going to copy the shutters that I used and just place them on every window that I can find. And I am going to be adding some extra windows into the garage as well. Now this I'm going to change out because I do want to use shutters on the front part as well. I feel like my roof is a little too high up there. And then to finish it all off, what I like to do, because right now we have like a static build, which is nice, but I like to use like wall trims and pillars that I add to the house. Of course, if you don't have advanced placing, it will be a little harder to do. Like you pick a baseboard and that's going to be in the same color as the windows. So the windows, I might actually go for like a darker gray. No, not a darker gray. So I'm gonna pick a material first. I'm actually gonna pick light stone gray because then that matches with the front part of the house. 
but I do want it to be in a different material, which in this case is going to be wood, and I do want to see what it looks like in the front. Now the front is going to have a different color. Okay, I'm changing the color on the side to cloudy gray, because I do feel like that will give me a lot more options in the future. See, I'm always struggling with colors, might be a bit easier for you to do. And that way we can use the color that we used before, which was light stone gray on the windows. I'm gonna go for a metallic one. Now, as you can see, this is quite dark. So if I go for the plastic material, it will be a little bit lighter. There we go, that's, that's the kind of window that I want. And then usually what I do under the roof, there's a lot of new options now, but I still use <laughs> the old method that I used to do, and that is placing the minor stone wall. But as you can see, that leaves gaps on the end so you're gonna have to be careful with those and that I'm going to paint in the same color I used for the window so light stone gray material plastic and then I copy my pillars that I used here I'm gonna just paint them first and then I put pillars into every corner of the house so I'm not gonna do it in the side part here only where like the brick connects to something else and then in the front of the house of course and there we go and then for the second floor of course you can choose to use these wall trims it's gonna fill up the bottom part first only where the brick is again just to create some more division between like the house and then the, the parts that were added and then the middle one same go and go to wall trim and then you want to pick something simple like a flat baseboard or something like that. I'm gonna be adding that on the middle part of the floor. Color it first and then copy paste it. Now this I'm going to use on the wooden thingies as well and that's basically just detailing your house you know. So as you can see this looks a lot better already and we already have like the outside shell of the house. And then inside, going inside, you just kind of like lay out where your rooms are going to be. So this is going to be the guest toilet. Gonna add another wall behind the stairs over here. And then of course you want to start dividing in your rooms. So this is going to be like the kitchen area. So adding a window here, this will be the dining room. So dining room is a little bit small, I think. Now I want the kitchen here. So this is gonna be quite the large kitchen. And the garage is gonna go over here. This is the dining area. This will be a sunroom. So gonna close that off as well. Then here we have the living room and I should have made it four blocks wide because as you can see it's quite narrow and then this will be another room I'm not sure quite yet you can also do is divide it into two parts like that so maybe that's what I will do with the dining area I'm gonna divide it into two parts like that so this is going to be the family room I'm just gonna make this one big space and then doors to the sunroom of course as well this is where the kitchen is and then this is where the dining area is so then what I do is I just like place something that I want to use in that build so keep the style in mind I'm gonna go for the rustic dining table here as you can see this is not a good space for a dining area so we will have to fix that later usually yeah I make this three I make this four blocks wide so that it's easier to like do this add this and then add your kitchen behind that but I didn't really think that true right now and then I just wanted to show you how I would solve the kitchen problem that we encountered I'm just opening it up adding a kitchen island and then adding my dining chairs right here so that we at least have some space for like a dining table. <laughs> then the family room, I do want a big, big couch. So maybe the L-shaped couch, something like that. And then you can place some couches around that later. So this is going to be the family entertainment room. Then the sunroom, something I would like to use as a couch like this. And then same upstairs. So you have to plan out your rooms a little bit more. So this will be a very, very tiny bathroom. And then of course, I'm gonna use the same fencing I did outside, which I'm going to have to paint later. I'm gonna use that around my stairs. And then this is where the hallway will be. And I have one, two, three, four, five rooms upstairs. This will be a bathroom, this will be a bathroom. Then we have a bedroom, bedroom, and bedroom. And of course, you you can add another floor. I don't know why my roof glitched out like that. And then you can just start planning out, playing around with everything, adding a floor to the front, adding a floor here to the front, something like that. What I would recommend against is making your floor just a straight thing to the front like that. Just use some kind of shape that you want uh, to use, I guess. <laughs> like something going out like this and then same thing with your garage as well something like this and stick to your color palette that you use so I used light stone gray I'm gonna be using that for this floor as well and then of course you can start adding some bushes around and then maybe a fountain so what if I want a fountain in the front something like that no that will be that will be way too cheesy but yeah this is how you create a simple McMansion the layout might be a little bit difficult so I would make this four bits wide instead of three so that it's easy to build a family room like on the side and then your dining room on the side as well as I showed you here so that you have one block more to add your own chairs and stuff like that. And so this is what it looks like from the outside. You can do whatever you want on the inside but at least the outside looks amazing. You can copy this if you want. That was it for today. I hope this video helped you out a little bit more. Thank you so much for watching.
hit that like button, and please subscribe.